we'll just take a couple minutes here to introduce Dulcinea. I'm not sure if anyone remembers that Dulcinea used to work with me at Bella Pele several years ago, and then she moved to Las Vegas to marry the man of her dreams <laughs> and <laughs> became like the empress of this huge... You have five studios now, right? Well, well, yeah, we have four. So we have kind of across the Las Vegas Valley. So we have Henderson and we have Southwest and we have two um, rooms there. We have Summerlin and Centennial. That's our newest one. So we've been open since 2014 now. Wow. It's been a while. We have 12 worker bees that we call them and they're the heart and soul of really humble bee. Aww. I always say, no, no, no. They're like, I'm, I'm whatever. They're the ones that like really make humble bee what it is. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Well, I loved visiting you and I look forward to seeing the other ones at some point. I only had time that day for one, but it was so yeah. pretty. Yeah. I can see your heart and soul in there. We went <laughs> for that was, that was all me. Everyone always says, you always put so much stuff on the walls. I'm like, yeah, you're supposed to like cover it with like tin and just make it feel like home. So when yeah. someone comes in, they just sit on the bed and they're like just talking to one of their girlfriends. Well, it's really beautiful and it is fun there. Let's get started on how to wax or how to make sugar wax. I mean, we can all buy wax, but it's just fun and it gives us something to do and it's unique and it's a very old, like an ancient craft. So I'm really excited to see how you do it and then like kind of compare it to the ways that they used to do it when they first started in Greece and all those places. So let's see what you've got. Okay, so I, I pre-made it, but I'm going to kind of show you how the mixture, I mixed everything together. Okay. Put this down. So there's only three ingredients, sugar, lemon, and then water. The ratio I used was a cup of sugar, okay. one-fourth cup lemon, and then one-fourth cup water. You will mix oh, it in something right now. a pot. They said the best is a saucepan um, because just the way the heat, it just the way the heat comes together. And the key from the one that I made, because I made a couple of them, and I didn't do what the lady told me to do on all of them, but I did with this mixture, was I just mixed and mixed and mixed it so it wouldn't burn. When it burns, it creates a different consistency, which would be more of a like a strip wax. Okay. That you can use with strips oh. and sticks. So you can actually use it as like a traditional wax that you would buy in the store. Or if you want it to be really golden, like more of an amber, really amber looking color, and that would create your harder consistencies. Okay. And then in the one I made was a soft, a soft um, sugar, which is more pliable that I can just put on someone's skin and it will just melt um, to the temperature of the skin. So okay. it really varies on the different heats that you um, put it on the stove. But you want to do it at a medium heat and then just mix until you get your color. You could use a candy thermometer, but I don't have one here. So I just judged it by the way it looked, just by eyeing it. And actually, this is the best consistency I've, I've made so far. So And it's been fun kind of seeing different methods. Dulcinea, did you say that you can make three different types, a hard, a soft, and a strip wax, or mm -hmm. did you say two? You can make actually four. So you can make a soft, you can make a medium, you can make a hard, and then you can make a strip wax. So we don't make our sugar. One day, hopefully, that's the plan. We'll have our own sugar line, but we get ours through um, Tamara's or tomorrow, I always forget how to say it, Tamara. She has really like five different consistencies. So it's the same thing, soft, medium, strong, and a standard one. And they all can be mixed together. We typically use the soft and standard. And it's good for different body, really the weather. So Vegas is really hot and it's dry. So that, when it's the hot months, we use more of the standard instead of the soft because the soft would just melt all over you. Like mm. it will just, it will just be 
a mess and it'll be all over the walls. Winter time, we go for more of the soft consistency because the bodies are cooler. It's easier to apply on the skin without really working your arm too much. So that's why there's several different types of sugar are made and can be made just by the three ingredients of sugar, lemon, and water. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, let's see how you do it. Okay. The actual application? Yeah, if you want. Okay. I mean, whatever you want. <laughs> let, me, let me get my model. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I decided that I would go and check out one of my friends who is from Cyprus. And she asked all of her Greek cousins what they used to do. So I'm going to see if I can. Well, I'll do that later because I think her model's on, on the way. Back. This was about. Oh, that's a good hairy arm. <laughs> this was like 10 days ago. So okay. uh, you can't really see much hair. Okay. You can't see like a lot of the hair hasn't grown and just it's very sparse and the hair is completely different. It's really soft and fine. And that's okay. why people love sugaring because when the hair grows back, it's a completely different texture. Okay. And for the most part, a lot of the clients that I have, they really have their hair starts to just die off because it takes it directly from the root. And when you do the flicking, it kind of, it really kills that follicle to where it really is less hair. Okay. That's why I kind of fell in love with sugaring. So that was 10 days ago. This is his hair now. Okay. So this is like what it always looks like. So can you see the hair? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put cornstarch, and this is actually what we use at the studio is cornstarch to just make a little barrier. I'm just going to pull out the sugar. Thank you, mystery man, for being our model. <laughs> <laughs> it hardened just a little, so I'm just going to put it in the microwave for like five seconds so it can be a little bit more pliable. So Dulcinea, I have a question for you. In traditional waxing with strips, even with hard wax, we generally apply the wax in the direction of the hair growth and then we take it off in the opposite direction. So what's the theory or why does it work so well with sugaring to reverse that, that So method? with the sugar, basically you do it the way the hair would naturally grow. So I have my ball of sugar. What really is what they say is as you mold it, mm -hmm. it's able to seep in and really capture the hair. And when you do the flick, it will move it directly from the root. So there's less breakage. So before you apply it, okay, his hair from my perspective is growing from left to right. So you're gonna apply it. I'll apply it from? The opposite way. The opposite way, yeah. Okay. So, what I'll from do is right to left, which right is completely to. opposite from completely wax. opposite. Yeah. And then you're going to remove it completely opposite. So you're kind of capturing all of the hair, all of the hair. And you can't, I don't know if you can see, but you can see the hair actually swooping back. And that's mm -hmm. why you mold like molding. I always do like three molds. It depends on like your sugar consistency. So this one I can kind of feel when I'm ready to pull. Okay. Oh. You want to make sure that it's super taut. And you can see it completely removed it just it's amazing. Yeah. Kind of with a couple flicks. And the little ones that are stragglers, I can just use, I always call them my little tweezers, uh -huh. and they just pop right out. And it's so gratifying. And even if someone has an ingrown, I can kind of just do this and that, and the ingrown just shoots out with it. Nice. So I always eye my patterns as really the way the hair grows. Like you can see with, as with strip wax, I kind of make it the same size as the regular strip. Right. And do your fingers get tired after doing a day of that? No, my fingers don't, but like my arm hurts a little, <laughs> but it's not as bad. It's not bad. Okay. And you can do this on the bikini line the exact same way? The exact same way. We do a whole Brazilian and all you need is just about this much to do a whole Brazilian. Wow. And when you're done, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see the follicle, the hair follicles in there. 
And so what's cool about it, we can just put this with water and all that we left will be the hair. Like that sugar will melt away. And I love it. It's like my favorite thing to do. I miss my treatment room. <laughs> oh, I bet. So that's pretty much how you would apply. And then same with the finger. So, okay, if someone is going to wax their lip, they would apply it. Uh, is there anything they need to put on to prepare their skin beforehand, like the Cherry O balm, or do um, they go straight that into That you would want to put on after. Like afterwards, we would, um, usually we use a hot towel, and we'll put the hot towel on. So after we do the hot towel, and then we'll put on something like um, the Cherry O to kind of calm the skin. Um, okay. but for the most part, they usually don't have any redness after, but we just do it just in case, like afterwards, if they have any, like a histamine reaction or something. <laughs> and, uh, and then also the audio. So I don't know if you all know this, but because she's got those three studios in Vegas, she sells the audios, which is the toner that I sell. That's mine. It's amazing that, that my stuff is all over Las Vegas with <laughs> all the fancy I dancers would, and I everything. Would call it, um, my Windex because you can use it on anything. And everyone always gets it from like my big fat Greek wedding, like the dad with the Windex spray for everything. So <laughs> it, it really is great for anything. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, thank you for that. Well, you guys, do you have any questions for Dulcinea before we uh, pop off or any tips from the experts? Did you guys go through the, I, did you make that, the ball that you just used? And we can repeat that in a minute if you want, uh, because it'll, it'll be fast, but I don't want Teresa and Olivier to have to listen to that again. Yeah. Or Shelly, I don't know if you're recording them or something. Maybe I could watch it, but I just jumped in and like, that was so cool. Like, <laughs> So cool, did right? You, is that your boyfriend? And did he mind having his hair removed like that? <laughs> my husband and no, he he's a trooper. He lets me. <laughs> he lets me. That was use anything. the perfect <laughs> example. I mean, really yeah, well this, done. This was the best mixture. I have to say, I'm gonna keep this, and I could just fill it up and keep it for like this would probably be a week's worth. Oh, oh that consistency yeah. stays the same. Yeah, the consistency is the same as long as you kind of have it airtight and store it. That's probably even longer. And you just kind of microwave it to like get the consistency that is pliable. If I may add, I feel cool. a lot worse when uh, Dulcinea worked for <laughs> Shelly in her, in my model uh, days. <laughs> <laughs> that is <true>. awesome. <laughs> oh my, was, God. Uh, my first Boyzillion model and that's when I knew he was a keeper. <laughs> oh <my laughs> like, that's material. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing. You guys are awesome. If you use that on your face, like Shelly was just asking about, like for a lip, like they got, like you know, I have like facial, like peach buzz hair that, you know, hopefully it doesn't start to become hair like your husband's hand on my <laughs> face. But like, yeah, um, as I get worse, you know, and so is it does it work as well on like lighter hair? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, um, we have a lot of facial sugaring clients that we have. And we do treat it a little different because that hair is kind of attached to more nerve ending, so it could aggravate the skin. So we do okay. um, prep it more. So we definitely add a little bit um, more of the cornstarch. And then afterwards, we'll really, like Cheerio would be good to really calm the skin down. But it calm, calm it down red. after. It never turns red afterwards. It just kind of maybe three days later possibly you can get a reaction, but for the most part, you don't really hear much because we're so cautious about prepping afterwards before yeah. we take them off. But yeah, it just, even with the, um, the facial hair, it really starts to thin out. Even those thick ones, like the chin hairs and the lip hairs, it's just definitely yeah. a different um, process. So you'd have to really make sure the lip's super tight and then flick it. Um, you do eyebrows with it? Is it too? You can, and there's people who do amazing brows with it. I personally, I can't do it. Like I, I just use the strip wax to do brows mm -hmm. just because. I mean, I guess you could apply it with one of those little wax sticks potentially and then pull it off. And like, with it, I'm sure if we use like, there's a strip sugar mm -hmm. that 
they have, and I'm sure you can use that and do the same, but we just use the strip wax because you can really get that really hard line. But I have like on, what is, on YouTube, there's people who it's amazing where they can just like mold the hair and then just do the flick and it, the line looks amazing. So with their finger or with the stick? With their fingers. Yeah. It's, ama it's amazing, but some people do the sticks too. I think one of our girls, she's been practicing with the sticks, so. Interesting. Well, I wanted to show everybody this thing. So because we were sheltering Thank in place, you. I sent out a survey and people were asking like, uh, you know, I need help. I don't know how to do this. So I just want to share my screen for a minute and show you like what options we have. So of course you can make the wax and I'll try to make an info sheet that is considered a printable and I'll show you where you can find that but Dulcinea and I have to work on that after okay so over here well since we're here on the blog we have another class coming up on the 14th and then another one on the 16th so if you guys want to go to my blog which is the freckle dot blog you can see the calendar and I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to continue with zooms or if uh I'm gonna do uh, more YouTube lives. I don't know if you got to see the YouTube live, but if you go to the freckle.blog, you can see the, the link right there. Okay, so this is my new printable section. I just made one about how to do your own eyebrow waxing. So you can download that and uh, print that off if you need a step-by-step, -step, and then you can follow the uh, YouTube video from the other day. And you can try it with your new sugar wax technique <laughs> and send me some pictures <laughs> yeah but, uh, large parts are good like doing a leg at home that's pretty easy brazilian's a little tough if you're going to try that at home <laughs> oh yeah i would imagine okay so here it is so there's the i created these lists that you can shop from so DIY for the hair cutting class that's going to come up and hair color. DIY for the eyebrow and body waxing. And you just click on here and it has a bunch of different things that you might need. Um, I didn't have a lot of success finding sugar wax pre-made. I wasn't looking extremely hard for that because I don't typically sugar myself. And I was going to ask Dulcinea if she did have a brand for that, but you can shop through here. So this was the video that my Greek friends sent me. And it just goes through this step-by-step -step of how you do it on the stove, like Dulcinea was talking about. Um, it's just set to music, so it's better to just listen to what Dulcinea says and then just watch what they do. But then at the end, I thought it was really interesting that they just kept going, but they just kept using this cold surface and just rubbing it back and forth to cool it down. So did you have to do that, Dulcinea? I didn't do that. I just put it in there and just kind of let it set for a bit. And it just hardened all its own. So you just put it directly into the plastic container? Yeah, I just put it directly in here. Okay, all and right. It kind of, she does this for a really long time, and I thought there's no way that I would have time I to just sit there. Of the, um, they're making a cold paste, it looks like, because that you do have to kind of move around a bit. What's a cold paste all about? That one, it's where you could, you actually make the ball and have pre-made balls to where you just kind of put on your skin. So you don't need a warm up at all. That's what this looks like. It looks like they're just gonna make the ball. Yeah. And then yeah, she keeps warm. wetting her hands and then I think she sticks it in the fridge. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a That's different cool. it's still sugar, but it's just a different technique. But you could do the this exact one. same thing. Apply it. Yeah. This one I don't they can't really microwave it after. So Okay. I think this one that one's more of a cold piece. Okay. All right. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your Saturday to do this. I know you've got little kids at home and this is <laughs> a big deal for you to have your husband watch them for us. <laughs> it works. But, um, it thank you work. so much. <laughs> and yeah, if you all are ever in Las Vegas, hi, I see a little munchkin back there. <laughs> if you're ever in Las Vegas, you have to go to Humble Bee. I think you can find the links on my stuff. If you have any questions afterwards for either one of us, just feel free to email me or go on social. We both have Instagram accounts. Um, you can just DM us. Uh, obviously, you know, you can go to ShellySkincare.com for everything. And uh, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope you join me next week for the rest. Mm -hmm.